Now on Good Morning Northwest sentencing day for five members of a hate group who traveled to Idaho to disrupt a gay pride event. What about the other 26 Patriot Front members who were with them? And of course, the heat is on again today. We're going to see a bit of a break coming in through the weekend. Next week looks lovely. What we need to do to see be safe today coming up. Is it a UFO government cover up? The House hearings about to take place, putting the Pentagon in the hot seat when it comes to investigating unidentified aerial phenomenon. You're watching Good Morning Northwest on 4 News Now. Thanks for being with us. Derek has the morning off. I'm Robin Nance. It is Friday, July 21st. Let's get you over to Mark. Another hot, really, really hot day today. Yeah, and out in the sun, it's hotter. You're getting into the shade. You still have those real temperatures, but waking up into Coeur d'Alene, you're 61 degrees. We're sitting at 68. Yeah, it's a warm start, no doubt about it. Not a lot of wind. Take a look at the four things you need to know. It is going to be sunny and hot today. Breezy afternoon. Winds in excess of 10 or 15 miles an hour, potentially. It's going to be 90s all the way through Sunday. And once again, we're just trying to repeat the fact there is no rain in the forecast. It's desperately dry pay attention. Now, today, elsewhere, into the Valley 61, Coeur d'Alene 62, 56 into Deer Park. Yeah, some manageable temperatures there, no doubt about it. Here's our day today. Um, oh, and the water in the falls at Riverfront Park. What a great place to be. But in the afternoon, still hot. Plenty of sunshine by 2 o'clock, 94, 97 at 6. And in between that, our high today of 98 degrees. Because of the extreme heat, the city of Spokane is opening its cooling centers from today through Sunday. Six Spokane library branches provide a cool space, water fountains, and free Wi-Fi. The Trent Resource and Assistance Center has food and water for people during the heat waves. STA buses will offer free rides to and from those cooling centers if you can't pay the fare. And this morning from the Breaking Now desk, the quest to find out whether we are alone in the universe. Congress is examining this issue and looking into whether the government is hiding something. This morning, lawmakers are preparing to look into claims of a cover-up within the government when it comes to UFOs. Congressman Tim Burchett says at a hearing next week, lawmakers will hear testimony from David Grush. He's an Air Force veteran who claims the government has a taxpayer-funded program that recovers and stores crashed alien spacecraft. The Pentagon says an investigation has found no vi verifiable information to substantiate the veterans' claims. Lawmakers will also hear from David Fravor, a retired Navy commander who recorded this video in 2014 showing a tic-tac-shaped object flying over the Pacific. They keep telling us they don't exist, but they block every opportunity for us to get a hold of the information to prove that they do exist. And we're going to get to the bottom of it. Skeptics believe the sightings could be advanced drones or optical illusions. The military intelligence officer leading the Pentagon task force on UFOs says they're analyzing more than 800 cases dating back decades. But Congressman Burchett says next, week hearing, next week's hearing is all about government's transparency. And the Pentagon has yet to comment on the hearing next week. Reporting in studio, Sydney Charles, 4 News Now. Sydney thinks a trip to a popular swimming spot in Spokane Valley ended up with a woman being taken to the hospital. Spokane Valley Fire tells us that woman fell from one of the rocks here near the Coyote Rock swimming area. She's expected to recover, but there are some things Spokane Valley Fire wants you to know if you're planning on spending your summer on the river. That area, due to the fluctuations of the Spokane River, can be very hazardous. There's a lot of rocks around the area, which make it a, a advantageous swimming hole, but also it can be very risky. Due to the low water levels, um, she was very lucky in this incident. For those who are familiar with the Spokane River and are out on the water, Sean Barrett, Battalion Chief for the Spokane Valley Fire Department, says there are a few things you should know before first responders arrive. Know exactly where the emergency is happening. That way, first responders can get there fast. Then he says, Try to get the person out of the water if you can do so safely and start CPR if you know how, because he says bystander compressions save lives. This morning, a North Idaho judge will sentence five members of a hate group. A jury found the Patriot Front members guilty of criminal conspiracy to riot. Police stopped a U-Haul with 31 men inside last year. They were wearing face masks and carrying homemade shields. Two of the men on trial said they were headed to the Coeur d'Alene Pride Parade to peacefully protest. 
These are the five men who were tried and convicted in Kootenai County yesterday. The other 26 men are still waiting trial. In court, the defense argued officers could not know the group would cause a disturbance. The defense also motioned to have charges dismissed, but the motion was denied because of the significant evidence. A judge says they could face up to a year in jail, two years probation, and a $5,000 fine. The sounds of construction continue to ripple along Freya Street in Spokane. Crews are working to repair multiple breaks to a water main that burst last Wednesday. Uh, we have learned there are additional breaks to other water lines in the area, extending the project even further. It's been frustrating for neighbors and drivers who continue to deal with construction projects along Freya. Some homes along the street are still waiting to receive sanitation services since the project began, a problem the city says it is looking into. Progress is being made, and the city says its goal is to have this major traffic artery back up next week. Our focus is to get Freya back up and, and um, drivable. Uh, we're hoping to have that done uh, mid to late next week. Once Freya is reopened, crews will turn their attention to those other water lines that need repair. Still no timeline on that part of the project. Six minutes after six o'clock and a warm start already to our day today. Got a little ice cream on the screen right now and it's dripping because Ooh. it's hot. But look at the temperatures tonight. Uh, we're going to have temperature at 83 at 9 o'clock as the sun sets. Wow. Still an enjoyable time on the back deck though. Mm -hmm. Low 80s, better than 98 are forecasted high today. We have a little bit of haze. Air quality still in good but should push into moderate. Your forecast coming up. Christmas is coming to Spokane a little bit early this year, or a lot of it early. More information on that coming up. Spokane already has watering restrictions in place. Coeur d'Alene may implement them too, just ahead, what it is considering. And why the U.S. is sending additional Marines to the Middle East, next on Good Morning Northwest. Stream 4 News now on your TV for free with the KXLY Plus app. Saving you green. This right here is confidence in a bottle. Not only does it change you on the outside, but something in the inside, knowing that you're looking better. It makes me feel so much more confident than I've ever felt in my life. They are some of the hottest videos on social media. Those videos claiming to instantly get rid of bags under your eyes. Well, today we're going to see one for ourselves and let you be the judge. It's called Plexiderm, and lifestyle expert Annette Figueroa is here to tell us why she says... This one is for real. This one is for real, and I'm so excited. We even have a video, and you'll notice the model has bags underneath his eyes and some sagging, and all he uses is a small amount on a clean, dry face, and that's how easy it is. All right, what's the active ingredient? Okay, so it's silicates that are minerals found in shale rock, and what it does is it tightens and lifts the appearance of bags underneath your eyes in as little as 10 minutes, no prescriptions, and very little effort. Even watching the video, this is a real... Uh, it's a model, but it's a real guy with real bags underneath his eyes. My real true opinion is holy words I can't say on camera. <laughs> this is absolutely unbelievable. I mean, I could feel it just lifting my skin. It was amazing. It feels good. Feels great. Looks even better. And I did this to my father. We were at home. So we applied it to his under eye bags. And let me tell you, we were so excited. In under 10 minutes, they visibly disappeared from view. And now it is literally part of both of our daily routines. He calls me every single month saying, hey, Annette. I'm out of Plexiderm, please send me more. And not only does it work on the bags, it works on the appearance of crow's feet, fine lines, and wrinkles. The way you want to do it is you want to have a clean, dry face, you use a small amount because it's so powerful. You have high school reunions, you have events you want to go to, you want to look years younger, this is it. At our $14.95 price, it's the best way to try Plexiderm and see it work for yourself after your first application. Your solution is at PlexidermTrial.com or call the number on your screen. Summer is here and everybody knows the general store has the fun stuff. But did you know we have hundreds of inflatables, towables, and kayaks for your time at the river or lake. You'll find the right drinkware from top brands such as Stanley, Hydro Flask, and Yeti. Boating? We have what you need in our recently upgraded marine section. You'll find top brands in our rod, reel, tackle, and bait in our newly revised fishing department. The General Store. We have the fun stuff. 
609 is the time. Here's a look at what's new on Good Morning Northwest. Tensions between the U.S. and North Korea are rising since a U.S. nuclear-armed ballistic submarine docked in the Korean Peninsula. North Korea's defense minister is threatening possible nuclear retaliation. This is the first time in four decades an American nuclear submarine has docked in South Korea. The Kentucky is capable of carrying up to 20 nuclear-tipped ballistic missiles, each of them carrying up to a dozen nuclear warheads. The U.S. military says it's a reflection of America's security commitments to South Korea as it fights back against North Korean aggression. The U.S. is deploying thousands of Marines and additional forces to the Middle East. The Pentagon announced the move in response to recent Iranian attempts to seize commercial shipping vessels. Earlier this month, the U.S. stopped Iran from seizing two tankers in the Gulf of Oman, including one instance in which an Iranian vessel opened fire on a tanker. The Pentagon did not specify which forces would be deployed. The deployment will likely consist of three ships and approximately 2,400 Marines. Presidential candidate and Florida Governor Ron DeSantis is urging his state's pension fund manager to consider legal action against Bud Light's parent company, Anheuser-Busch, amid conservative backlash to the beer maker's recent marketing efforts. He says the company violated legal responsibilities to its shareholders when it decided to align its marketing with what DeSantis calls radical social ideologies. It's the latest attempt by DeSantis to inject himself into the country's culture wars. Sales of Bud Light have plummeted in the months since it entered into a minor partnership with transgender influencer Dylan Mulvaney. In March, Florida's pension fund held 682,000 shares of Anheuser-Busch. 11 minutes past 6 o'clock. It is a Friday morning. Here's a look at your 10-second takeaway. It's going to be another hot and hazy day. There's no doubt about that. So again, ring light colors, taking breaks in the afternoon, drinking plenty of water. 98 are high today. Temperatures are rising, and so is the water usage in Coeur d'Alene. The city is using so much water, officials are considering a conservation ordinance that would restrict when you can water your lawn. Nearly 75% of water usage is from irrigation. The city pumped more than 780 million gallons of water this past June. That's 350 more than last June. Eventually, we'll end up like other areas that are out of water. The director of the Coeur d'Alene Water Department said to conserve water, you should refrain from watering your lawn between noon and 6 p.m. because that is when it's the hottest. Now, Spokane already has water restrictions in place. Right now, you should not water your lawn within city limits between 10 in the morning and 6 in the evening. You are also allowed to only water every other day. Spokane is in what the city calls an education period for this that will last a couple of years. There's not a penalty for not following the ordinance at this time. Good morning, Northwest time is now 612. It's never been this hot for this long in parts of the U.S. Coming up, how the extreme heat got even worse in Phoenix. And cheers to Christmas in July. Allison Martinez celebrating with a local brewery right after this. Wind damage? Burks can handle that. You didn't plan on a disaster, but you have a choice on who restores it. Choose the best. Burks Restoration takes care of fire, wind, or water damage, and more. Tell your insurance company you choose Burks Restoration. Psst, it's my favorite time of year. Lazy Boy's having a sale again. <gasps> Wow, I'm getting good at this. The Black Friday and July sale. Save 20% off plus an extra 10% off. Lazy Boy. Live life comfortably. Spokane is my hometown. It's where I built my business and raised my two boys. But Spokane has changed and not all for the better. Brighter days can lie ahead if we have a city council that puts results over political agendas. That's why I will take action to address our homelessness crisis, make affordable housing a priority, and support our police and firefighters to keep our neighborhoods safe. I'm Kim Please, running for city council president, and I'm asking for your vote. Thank you. My parents started their first dealership in Coeur d'Alene in 1983. They took pride in being locally owned and work hard to help this great community we call home. Now, three generations later, we're still proud to be one of the last locally owned Subaru dealerships. And we're working harder than ever to give back to the community that has supported us all these years. Because we're looking forward to being your local family Subaru dealer for generations to come. 
ABC's World News Tonight. And 4 News Now. When the local story is national news. When national stories hit home. Watch ABC World News Tonight at 5.30. And 4 News Now at 6. That's what we mean when we say expect more. In 1980, Walker's Furniture opened their first store. So this week, they're celebrating their 43rd anniversary with storewide markdowns of 19 to 80% off. Where every dining room set, every bedroom set, every sofa, love seat, and sectional is 19 to 80% off. Or take advantage of no money down, no minimum purchase, no interest financing for five years. So you can get that new purple or beauty rest mattress set today and pay for it later during the anniversary sale at Walker's. Things are so awesome since my family got a rewards earning Casasa checking account from Canopy Credit Union. We have a cash back account that pays us back 4% on up to $300 worth of debit card purchases. That's up to $12 deposited into our account every month. You know what that means? More toys, more playtime, more fun. Woohoo! Canopy is putting treats back in the budget. Learn more at canopycu.com. Limits and conditions apply. Wind damage? Burks can handle that. You didn't plan on a disaster, but you have a choice on who restores it. Choose the best. Burks Restoration takes care of fire, wind, or water damage, and more. Tell your insurance company you choose Burks Restoration. 4 News Now is brought to you by Mystiqua Casino Hotel in Chewila. Sign up for breaking news alerts with the 4 News Now app. Good morning. It is now 616. You are looking at a live view over downtown Spokane. And that is the Spokane Veterans Memorial Arena in the foreground with some hazy skies up above, but we are going to heat up again today. And if you are looking for a way to beat that heat, Spokane Parks Foundation is hosting free pool parties. The first one is tonight at the Liberty Aquatic Center from 630 to 8. There will be free food and fun for all. The other one coming up on August 4th. Mark your calendar for that one. It's at the Hilliard Aquatic Center. This is all part of the park's Make a Splash program that hopes to remove financial barriers so kids can learn to swim and enjoy their summers safely. And we talked about the haze in the sky. Is that smoke coming in or is it clouds like? A little bit of haze due to ozone. I mean, there's not a lot of air movement. So anything mm. the, that's being kicked up by vehicles and cars staying in mm. there. Okay. But also we get a little bit of smoke coming out of the, uh, really the Oregon Washington border. Some new fires down there. Air quality right now in the high side of good gaining two points. So it's on the higher side of good and more than likely will slip into the moderate. But we're going to stay out of the uh, other unhealthy because because of the winds and where the smoke is. Now, we look at what we currently have. It's a little cooler in Deer Park, 56 degrees. Gorgeous start there. It's warmer into the West Plains. Temperatures nearing 70, but 61 into the valley, 63 Liberty Lake, North Idaho. You're around 60 degrees. Gorgeous start. Cup of coffee, back deck. I get it. Now, today, all of that is going to erode by mid morning. We start to really feel that heat, the sun coming down. 98 degrees will be the high today. We're going to see those 90s all afternoon. By noon, we should be around 90, and then we just build from there, and it hangs out till about 7 8 o'clock overnight lows down to 64 which is still fairly warm so again do what you can to stay cool we do have the cooling centers we'll have more on that but all the libraries are going to be ready for you today and tomorrow 99 into the valley 99 into Mead. these are the forecasted highs today downtown it's going to feel like 100 again that heat island all that concrete and then releasing it late at night so it'll stay warmer longer our official high today coming out of spokane international airport where we register all this 98 degrees you're in the mid 90s East Post Falls to Coeur d'Alene. Things look pretty good there. We look at our planning forecast and we do plan to see a break. Oh, by the way, no rain. We continue to be dry and that's just going to be the trend. Um, we will see temperatures into the triple digits for the central basin. That's going to be a continuation again of what we had yesterday. 98 today, 94 Saturday, Sunday, 91, 88 Monday, and then it's Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. Um, boy, it's going to be nice. Low 80s forecasted right now, well below average. Nice break. We're going to heat back up again, but we're going to get a nice break. Oh, thank goodness. But no rain. But oh, no I mean, rain. I should just hang on to the positives, yep. though. All right, Mark, thank you very much. It's now 619. Spokane's No Light Brew House will host its first Christmas in July event this weekend. It'll feature three holiday brews and some giveaways. 4 News Now's Allison Martinez is live at No Lie with a closer look. 
I know it is hot out there, but it is cool in here, and we're enjoying the Christmas spirit here today at No Lie Brew House. I'm here with the owners. Tell me, the event kicks off tomorrow at 11 a.m. What can people expect? A long line. We're super excited for all of our beer enthusiasts. Enthusiasts, sorry, I always butcher that word. Um, we're excited for our beer enthusiasts to line up to come in to get a mug, fill it with beer, get some fun swag. We have a DJ that's going to be out on the patio if you want to be out in the heat, if you want to be in the cool. We have a few limbo contests throughout the event um, with fun swag for that. We have and great Santa beers. Santa might be coming. Santa! Oh my goodness! <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure we'll be seeing lots of photos throughout the event. Yeah. That's so yeah. And we got three special beers tomorrow. Small batch beers. We have a, a Polar Plunge, a Tropicana Crush, and a Ginger Snap Dark Lager. Wow. So it's going to be tasty as well. Very tasty. And are these just available tomorrow, or when will these be? Ah, uh, tomorrow. If there's some left over, maybe next week, but only tomorrow if you want to make sure you want to try them. Right. They're all made in real small batches. Gotcha. So no promises. It's basically tomorrow where, yeah, yeah got to get here early. Get here, get here early. Oh, so exciting. It's going to be such a fun day. Christmas in July. Get a little bit of relief from that heat outside. It's air conditioned in here. Have yep. a nice cold beer in your hand and just... Enjoy it. They yeah. said 100 degrees, so inside would be good in the big beer hall. And if you want to venture out onto the patio, there's a nice breeze off the river. So it should be a nice day. And practice your back bends for the limbo contest. <laughs> I'll be practicing. I'll go home and practice tonight. <laughs> oh, so exciting. Back to you guys in the studio. Cheers. Cheers. It's now 621. Uh, it is Pac-12 Media Day in Las Vegas. Sports Director Julian Minnesota has a preview and where the Washington State Cougars are picked to finish as they try for their eighth straight bowl appearance. That's coming up. Download the 4 News Now app today. Some ideas seem good, but aren't. Maybe she could sell her house. What could go wrong? Like listing your house, then dealing with all the trouble, expense, not to mention closing costs. We Buy Ugly Houses can buy your house fast for cash, as is with no hassle. Call or click to sell quick. Sorry about that car accident. Got that insurance claim check for you. I got a call swap. You forgot your check. We'll make sure you get the help you deserve, and we only get paid after you win. One call, that's all. 509-999-9999. Set summer in motion with the most adventurous Honda vehicles yet, like the Pilot and Passport Trail Sport and the Ridgeline. Built for better off-road performance and engineered for more adventure. This summer, create your own adventures with Honda, the most awarded brand in car and driver 10 best history. Buy online, reserve from select dealers, or visit your local Honda dealer today. Would you like sparkling or tap? Well, actually... Dad, no. Showtime. We brought our own. Filtered by Culligan's reverse osmosis system. Every time? Like clockwork. Do you guys want glasses for that? Yeah. At Culligan, we get that most people don't think about water like we do. And that's okay. See, when we install a drinking water filtration system, we're thinking about filtering up to 60 potentially harmful contaminants. So you can just think about drinking safer, better tasting water. At Culligan, we think about your water so you don't have to. Northwest Gathering. Over 800 vehicles all weekend long, July 21st, 22nd, 23rd at the Spokane Fairgrounds. More information is available on Facebook and greatnwgathering.com. Some ideas seem good, but aren't. Maybe she could sell her house. What could go wrong? Like listing your house, then dealing with all the trouble, expense, not to mention closing costs. We Buy Ugly Houses can buy your house fast for cash, as is with no hassle. Call or click to sell quick. Welcome to Morning Sports. I'm Julian Minnitzone. For the first time ever, Pac-12 Media Day will be held in Las Vegas today. The big news leading into the event is the release of the preseason football poll. Now, if Washington State played the slots, 
it would look a lot like this. The Cougars are picked to finish seventh in the conference this season. The Cougars finished in seventh place last season on their way to a seventh straight bowl appearance. So we will see if Lady Luck is on Washington State's side this year. Now USC was picked to win the Pac-12. Washington was picked to finish second, followed by Utah, Oregon, and Oregon State rounding out the top five. <laughs> I just, I let the motions get the best of me, and I just, uh, I let them down. Seattle Mariners outfielder Jared Kelnick was brought to tears during his pregame press conference on Thursday. Kelnick broke his foot kicking a water cooler following a strikeout in the ninth inning of Wednesday's loss. Kelnick was placed on the 10-day injured list and left the game in a walking boot. He's been a, one of Seattle's best players this entire season. The rest of the Mariners picked up the slack in Kelnick's absence, though. Seattle defeated the Minnesota Twins 5 to nothing. Teoscar Hernandez and Mike Ford each brought in a pair of runs. Mariners starting pitcher George Kirby pitched a seven inning shutout. Seattle opens up a three game series against the Toronto Blue Jays starting at 7-10 tonight from T-Mobile Park in Seattle. And the U.S. women's soccer team opens up its World Cup run tonight. Team USA features nine players who are members of the 2019 World Cup championship team. This includes Megan Rapino, who will be playing in her final World Cup. The team also has 14 players making their first World Cup appearance, including Washington State Cougar Trinity Rodman. It all gets started when the U.S. takes on Vietnam at 6 o'clock tonight. And that wraps up for Morning Sports. Go USA. It's now 626. Before we go to break, here's your first look at what's coming up on GMA beginning at 7. In this morning's GMA first look. New details from the search warrant issued this week for the 1996 murder of rap pioneer Tupac Shakur. So this is the biggest development in the Tupac murder case since this all happened, since the murder happened. ABC News learning the search warrant executed Monday in Las Vegas was at the home of Dwayne Davis, known as Keefe D, just miles away from where Tupac was gunned down during a drive-by shooting. ABC News has exclusive video of armored vehicles driving down the neighborhood street just after 10 p.m. And we'll have much more on the search warrant and what it means for this infamous cold case coming up at 7 a.m. With your GMA First Look, I'm Kana Whitworth, ABC News, Los Angeles. I was stuck. Unresolved depression symptoms were in my way. I needed more for my antidepressant. Vralar helped give it a lift. Adding Vralar to an antidepressant is clinically proven to help relieve overall depression symptoms better than an antidepressant alone. And in Vralar clinical studies, most saw no substantial impact on weight. Elderly dementia patients have increased risk of death or stroke, report unusual changes in behavior or suicidal thoughts. Antidepressants can increase these in children and young adults. Report fever, stiff muscles, or confusion, as these may be life-threatening, or uncontrolled muscle movements, which may be permanent. High blood sugar, which can lead to coma or death, weight gain, and high cholesterol may occur. Movement dysfunction and restlessness are common side effects. Stomach and sleep issues, dizziness, increased appetite, and fatigue are also common. Side effects may not appear for several weeks. I didn't have to change my treatment. I just gave it a lift. Ask about Vralar and learn how Abvi can help you save. Stream 4 News Now on your TV for free with the KXLY Plus app. 4 News Now is brought to you by Coeur d'Alene Wigs. Hi, Kylie here with Dad at Parker Toyota. We know finding time during the busy week to schedule your service maintenance can be difficult. That's why we've expanded our hours. We're now open Sundays. Schedule your oil change, brakes, and other maintenance needs at your convenience online, parkertoyota.com. Our highly trained technicians can get you in and out with our express service. Experience the no problem sales and service seven days a week at Parker Toyota in Coeur d'Alene. Beat the heat, always water before 10 a.m. or after 6 p.m. Did you know that you can get up to $300 of free furniture with select Serta and Beautyrest mattress sets at all 13 Walker's Furniture and Mattress stores? 
We owe everything to our troops, past and present, for their honor, courage, and dedication. As a token of our appreciation, 4 News Now and Global Credit Union are encouraging you to once again wear red on Fridays. Join us in recognizing our troops and their families for allowing us the freedoms we enjoy as Americans. Stop into any global branch and pick up a red pin to show your support. Then wear red every Friday from now until September 11th. Wear Red Fridays brought to you by 4 News Now and Global Credit Union. Margot Robbie and the stars of Barbie. We had a Barbie sleepover. And nobody told me that it was a sexy Barbie sleepover. She looked like an old lady but a five-year-old at the same time. <laughs> Watch <laughs> Kelly today at 4 and 4 News Now at 5. From 4 News Now, this is Good Morning Northwest. Good morning, Northwest. I'm Robin Nance. Derek has the morning off. It is Friday, July 21st, and it's a hot one. Let's check in with Mark in our first alert forecast. Yeah, our whole day is just going to get hotter and hotter. We look at what we have right now. You have a little bit of haze in the air. Blue sky, beautiful morning, sitting at 68 degrees. Cooler into Coeur d'Alene, you're sitting at 60. Looking nice. Four things you need to know. Going to be sunny and hot, and that's going to be all day until the sun sets. It'll be a breezy afternoon. Winds potentially to 15 miles an hour. That will increase that fire danger a little bit. We're going to have 90s all the way through Sunday. And again, just reminding everyone, there is no sign of rain in the future, so please use caution. As we look at what we had for satellite and radar, both taking the day off. We don't have any cloud cover to speak up. We don't have any rain. Very dry condition, and it's going to stay that way statewide all the way through the weekend. Waking up 65 into downtown, 56 into Deer Park. And again, those low 60s from Post Falls to Hayden. Coeur at 64 degrees now, warming a little bit. We'll see temperatures warm up quickly. Uh, by noon, we're going to be bumping at 90 degrees. And then we're going to have temperatures in the mid to upper 90s all afternoon. That high today, not a record. 103 is the current record. We're going to be at 98 degrees for the high today. Investigators say the New York architect accused in the Gilgo Beach murders may be linked to unsolved murders in other states. Sydney Charles is live at the Breaking Now desk. And Sydney, investigators are looking into a case out of South Carolina of a teenager who vanished in 2014. That's right, Robin. Her name is Aaliyah Bell. And this morning, police in Rock Hill, South Carolina, are trying to determine if the suspected New York serial killer could be connected to her disappearance. The 18-year-old vanished nearly a decade ago, about 20 miles from where the suspect, Rex Hurman, owns land. And South Carolina isn't the only place that's investigating. In New Jersey, Authorities are investigating possible links between Hurman and the 2006 unsolved killings of four sex workers near Atlantic City. In Las Vegas, where Hurman owned a timeshare, police are also going through cold cases. Back in New York, where Hurman is charged with murdering three young women in 2010, he now sits in a... Amazingly, no uh, emotions whatsoever. And when you think about someone, you know, last week that was roaming around the streets of New York and also Master Peak were parked freely to be confined in the space that he's currently confined in, you would think that you would see some emotion. Hearman's wife, seen here in a picture obtained by Fox News, has now filed for divorce. Sources familiar with the matter say that detectives believe the killings may have been carried out at the family home. Hearman has pleaded not guilty to those three murders. Reporting in studio, Sydney Charles, 4 News Now. Sydney, thanks. A home burned down in the city of Malden, which is still recovering from a massive wildfire three years ago. Fire officials don't know yet what caused this fire, which started yesterday afternoon. Firefighters worked into the evening to put it out and say dry, hot conditions make the firefight even more of a challenge. There wasn't much that they could do to that. They did manage to save the fifth wheel that the residents will be using to reside in at this time, and they prevented the spread uh, from getting to other structures as well. Whitman County's fire chief says during this hot, dry weather, keep in mind any burn bans in place in your area. Still a long road ahead, but the Geiger Corrections Facility could be retiring if voters say yes to two new jail facilities in November. Two county commissioners wanted to see the vote deferred to next year, citing the need for more community input and more details as to where the rest of the money would be spent. If passed, the measure would generate $1.7 billion in revenue over the course of 30 years. The county would receive 
one billion, seven hundred million of that would go to towns and cities. It would raise sales tax by 0.2 percent. The main jail is overcrowded, and we're told the correction staff can't do their jobs safely because of that. The proposal would use about half of the 1.7 billion to add the two new facilities. Some commissioners say there is no plan as to how exactly the rest of that money would be spent. And NAACC President Curtis Robinson says the initiative is vague and he has some major concerns about it. It's not that we don't need a new building. We probably do. But our people need services first. There is enough space to house about 700 inmates between the Geiger facility and the downtown jail. Sheriff John Knowles says the new facilities will lead to safer communities. Probably within one or two years after that jail opens, we will see a significant change in the way our communities look. I think we can have a significant impact on crime. I think we can have a significant impact on recidivism locally. Noel says we need enough beds for people who reoffend and programming to help people better themselves and get out of the system. The Federal Reserve is looking to release its new instant payment platform meant for people and businesses to get their payments quicker. They're calling it FedNow Service. The new system eliminates waiting periods for payments to clear, getting funds to your account instantly. It also runs 24-7, eliminating business hours and bank holidays. 35 banks and credit unions are certified for the new system, but the Fed is hoping to eventually have thousands of financial institutions on board. Tiny homes like these are gaining steam in our area as housing costs continue to rise. This year, owning one in Washington became much easier. Governor Jay Inslee signed a bill into law removing barriers when it comes to building these kinds of homes. But there are some things you should know before you buy. Hear from the owner of a tiny home and our story we have online for you. It's on KXLY.com. Good morning, Northwest Times. Now 636 and Mark is back and we're talking about extreme heat again today. Yeah, taking early morning walks. Make it, you know, it's enough that we have to make sure we're drinking enough water, but mm -hmm. getting the kids to drink the water, maybe a Pedialyte pop or something like that, it just keeps them energized and healthy. And of course, we continue to seek shade and check on those who are affected by the heat. Mm -hmm. We're going to talk more about that heat. That's all coming up here in just a little bit. Four News Now on your time with Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. It's a good day for a drive. Great day for a deal. Right now, Cooper Tire is offering up to $75 off four qualifying Cooper Tires. Plus, Perfection Tire will match that rebate for up to $150 off. Nobody beats Perfection. At P1FCU, we're all about celebrating your wins. Like finding a great parking spot. Yes. Or winning the lottery. Your wins add up, just like earning 3.50% APY in an Ascend checking account. So let's celebrate the wins together. Coming up. Open your account at p1fcu.org forward slash win. P1FCU, your community, your credit union. Fred's has the latest Samsung kitchen appliances in stock and on sale. Save up to 15% when you bundle three select appliances. Samsung bespoke models let you customize the look of your kitchen with a huge variety of colors to choose from. Choose from gas or electric ranges and a variety of colors and styles. Need a new dishwasher? Samsung dishwashers have dual wash arms and a rotating spray jet to clean even the dirtiest dishes. Stop by your local Fred's Appliance and see the latest in kitchen appliances. Summer is here and everybody knows the general store has the fun stuff. But did you know? We have hundreds of inflatables, towables, and kayaks for your time at the river or lake. You'll find the right drinkware from top brands such as Stanley, Hydro Flask, and Yeti. Boating? We have what you need in our recently upgraded marine section. You'll find top brands in our rod, reel, tackle, and bait in our newly revised fishing department. The General Store. We have the fun stuff. Post Falls Volkswagen and Coeur d'Alene Nissan, the home of zero. Zero down. Zero security deposit. Zero first month's payment. Zero do it signing. Financing is easy with 1.9% available and options for all types of credit. Locally owned and great deals. Why go anywhere else? Plus, we're offering top dollar because we want to buy your car. Buy your car. Selling your car just got easy with instant cash offers at our two convenient locations. Post Falls Volkswagen and Coeur d'Alene Nissan. It's a good day for a drive. Great day for a deal. 
Right now, Cooper Tire is offering up to $75 off for qualifying Cooper Tires. Plus, Perfection Tire will match that rebate for up to $150 off. Nobody beats Perfection. It's now 639. Phoenix continues to cope with a record-breaking heat wave, and fire crews there had to go to work facing an, ex an entirely different level of extreme heat. It's just part of a record-breaking heat wave still sweeping the nation. ABC's Rhianna Alley has the details. Last night, an extra challenge for firefighters in Arizona, a massive fire erupting in Phoenix, where it's never been this hot for this long. The fire breaking out at this propane tank business next to the Phoenix airport. Explosion sending hundreds of propane tanks flying into the air like missiles. We have evidence of propane tanks up to 500 yards past the uh, ground zero where this is actually happening. We have hundreds of these scattered around the area. We absolutely shrapnel is a concern. The cause of the fire under investigation. The feel like temperature 119 degrees. Many local residents are keeping their thermostats in the 80s to keep utility bills down, especially between the hours of 4 to 7 p.m. The most expensive hours to use electricity. More than 100 million Americans from California to Florida remain under heat alerts. Miami is expected to see a heat index in the triple digits for the 40th consecutive day. In Jacksonville, a 10-month-old is the latest victim of the heat. A babysitter is charged with manslaughter after police say she inadvertently left the girl inside a car with temperatures in the mid-90s. It's a tragic case with tragic consequences and will have consequences. The water off of South Florida is so hot, it's now bleaching the coral, a vital part of the ecosystem. If over tens of hundreds of thousands of years these coral have been around, people might say, well, come on, they've made it through plenty of marine heat waves. Not like this one. But in California, these people cooling off, skiing at Mammoth Mountain, where snow is still on the ground after the winter's historic 715-inch snowfall. Rhiannon and Alley, ABC News, New York. 641. It's Friday morning. Your 10 second takeaway. Boy, it is It's going to be hot. It's going to be a hazy day today. So wearing those light colors help uh, reflect some of the heat. Sunglasses, drinking your water. High today, 98. Oh, well, you think it's hot now? NASA says get ready for next year. The space agency issued a warning that says next year will probably be even warmer. That's because we haven't really felt the impact of El Nino yet. Instead, what we are experiencing right now is the result of climate change, NASA says, has been caused by burning fossil fuels. Next year, when the natural El Nino weather cycle starts to impact us, the mercury will rise even higher. NASA scientists also say as oceans warm, that helps fuel dangerous weather events like hurricanes. It is now 642. Allison Martinez is at No Lie this morning. I am tomorrow. Christmas in July kicks off at No Lie, and you can earn some merch like this. We'll tell you how to do that coming up. Download the 4 News Now app today. What you see is important. That makes quality eye care important too. Get personalized care from experienced optometrists at Shopco Optical. Better eye care. You'll see. Don't need glasses. See us for your contacts and save on your annual supply. A combination of fun and performance is why Kylie and I are excited to show you the Subaru Crosstrek. The all-wheel drive Crosstrek offers an available 2.5 liter Subaru Boxer engine, giving you extra performance and power unlike anything on or off the road. There's no shortage of space for passengers and a surprising amount of cargo room for your gear. The Crosstrek has an 8-inch touchscreen with Apple CarPlay connecting you with your favorite apps and navigation. Check out the Subaru Crosstrek and receive no problem customer attention at Parker Subaru in beautiful Coeur d'Alene. What is the Zap experience at Mainstream? It happens because we never stop increasing our expertise. We're improving through training because at Mainstream, knowledge is power. Speaking of, did you know that your toast was burning? Choose smart. Call the company with heart. Hit the open roads this summer with Click It RV Superstore in Spokane during the Great American Sales Event. The best brands, Riverstone, Venture RV, Winnebago, and more. Over 1,000 RVs. Payments as low as $240 per month. Only $240 down. Zero payments until 2024. Up to $4,000 over JD Power for your trade-in. Plus, get a Traeger Grill and Yeti Cooler with purchase during the Great American Sales Event. Now at the Click It RV Superstore in Spokane. One mile past the Y on North Newport Highway. 
Highway. Hurry in today. As state senator, Lisa Brown increased taxes by $2 billion while raising her own pay. Under her watch, homelessness rose by 25000 Now she's backed by the defund the police crowd. Lisa's soft on crime, hard on taxpayers. I pledge to increase police presence and tackle homelessness, and we have. Our Violent Crimes Task Force has lowered crime rates, and we're compassionately addressing homelessness. We're exceptional, Spokane. I'll keep it that way. I'm Nadine Woodward, and I approve this message. I'm Mark Peterson, the extreme team at Horizon Credit Union, ready to take on the next task. If you know of a project that needs an extreme team makeover, go to kxoy.com to nominate it. Four News Now Extreme Team brought to you by Horizon Credit Union. Your child's eyes are a crucial part of their learning. Get a clear picture of their eye health and vision changes from experienced optometrists at Shopco Optical. Visit Shopco Optical to ensure your child is seeing and learning how they are supposed to. Four News Now is brought to you by Ace Hardware. It's quarter till seven. Need a break from the heat? Maybe we should pretend it's December. You can do that at No Lie Brew House. Tomorrow, the local brewery will kick off its first annual Christmas in July event. Allison Martinez is live at the brew house. That's right. I'm here with the owners of No Lie Brew House. We've been having the most fun morning. As you can tell by our get up, it is Christmas in July tomorrow, kicking off at 11 a.m. We're so excited. What inspired you guys to kind of start this new tradition? Well, Santa needs to come twice a year, and uh, we need some joy in Spokane and everywhere, so you need to get your elf on tomorrow. I mean, we need to have some fun, right? Life's serious enough. Let it rip tomorrow. And Absolutely. why wouldn't you? Yeah. I could not agree yeah. more. I could yeah. not agree more. And what can people expect tomorrow when they come? Holy cow. Well, maybe Santa might be here, but we have three epic small batch beers, some ginger snap, a little polar plunge, and some Tropicana crush. Uh, music, some good food, 600 people, all dressed up. You got to have board shorts, Santa hat, flip flops. You got to bring it, though. You got to bring it. Yeah. Absolutely. And you guys have some great gear going on here. We have the hat. We have the Christmas in July shirt. How can people win some of that tomorrow? Go yeah, for it. Yeah, we have some special gifts. It's not Christmas without special gifts. The first 500 people to show up and purchase a mug and get a fill will get a free trucker hat. And if you bring your uh, special get up, Christmas gear get up, you get a free t-shirt. First 500 people. So get here early. That sounds like a Christmas miracle to me. Yeah. <laughs> now, starting off tomorrow, we're kicking it off at 11 a.m. The yeah. event goes till 3. What other information do people need to know before they get here tomorrow? I would say get here at 1030, get in line, and um, we'll be letting people in probably about 1050. And we think the place will probably be full and at max capacity by noon. And there'll be music, there's going to be beers, there's going to be just a great Christmas environment. For us, it's kind of like being in a theme park for a few hours. <laughs> but you got to escape, and you come into our little uh, Christmas gift to our community that love craft beer. Absolutely, and if this morning has been any indication, tomorrow is going to be such a blast. So come on down to Christmas in July at No Lie. And that's it for right now. We'll kick it back to you in the studio, Robin. Cheers. Cheers. <laughs> cheers. Uh, I wish we could cheers this. Um, the smoke. We're talking smoke and fire. And a lot of that into some of the higher elevations, even with some of that smoke making its way down here. We're still in the green when it comes to our air quality. But again, could and probably will make it into the moderate range today. A lot of that, that haze we see is higher up and down below. We he see, again, some of the stuff that really cars and trucks are kicking up as they drive. We don't have a lot of air movement. Everything is just staying in the environment. 98 degrees will be our high today. That's 10 degrees above average. Wind south 5 to 10 miles an hour. Tonight, 64 degrees. Bit of a breeze. We could see some gusty winds into the West Plains, but we'll see that more often over the weekend as we start to slowly cool down. Right now, if you're heading out in Deer Park, 56, 66 downtown, 65 into Liberty Lake, 66 into Coeur d'Alene. Um, Hayden, you're at 61 degrees. Looks beautiful. <clears throat> we look at what we can expect over the next three days when it comes to our forecasted radar. A um, little bit of cloud cover here and there, mainly into the higher elevations. A little light cloud cover in the afternoon due to heating, but you don't see any rain and really nothing of consequence. Eastern Washington, North Idaho, drought conditions continue and we will remain very dry. 
Temperatures today in close proximity, 95 in a Spangle, 97 Deer Park, 95 in a Coeur d'Alene. Post Falls, you'll be at 96. We'll see temperatures looking at 100 degrees downtown. So again, those cooling centers are open. You can find out more about those at KXOY.com, but those libraries are there with water, air conditioning, and of course, reading material. 102 into Grand Coulee, 101 into the Tri-Cities. OMAC, you're there. And again, we're forecasting 98, 94 tomorrow, 91 Sunday. For those who have not seen this planning forecast, just joining us, please peruse the middle of next week with low 80s Tuesday, Wednesday, even into Thursday at 84 degrees. That cool below average, I love that color mm -hmm. blue, denoting yes. nicer, better weather, I guess. Agreed. So agreed. Just wish I had a little more rain, I or gotcha. actually any rain yeah. in it would be nice, but... Take what we can get. It is now 10 minutes before the hour. Your morning sprint coming up right after this break. Stick around. Stream 4 News Now on your TV for free with the KXLY Plus app. 4 News Now is brought to you by Mechanics Pride. <laughs> Sorry about that car accident. Got that insurance claim check for you. I gotta call Swap. <laughs> I gotta call Swap. Here you go. Huh. That's it? I'm calling him. You forgot your check. Craig Swap and Associates is on your side. We'll make sure you get the help you deserve, and we only get paid after you win. One call, that's all. 509-999-9999. We owe everything to our troops, past and present, for their honor, courage, and dedication. As a token of our appreciation, 4 News Now and Global Credit Union are encouraging you to once again wear red on Fridays. Join us in recognizing our troops and their families for allowing us the freedoms we enjoy as Americans. Stop into any global branch and pick up a red pin to show your support. Then wear red every Friday from now until September 11th. Wear Red Fridays brought to you by 4 News Now and Global Credit Union. Subaru Crosstrack. Dog tested, dog approved. Love. It's what makes Subaru Subaru. Drive new Subaru models with 3.9% financing at AutoNation Subaru. Hey, batter, 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 swing, batter. Batter up, people. We've got an hour of insane baseball grub with MLB All Star Nick Swisher. Wow. Next, Rachel. Watch Rachel today at 3 and 4 News Now at 5. Sleepovers just aren't what they used to be. A house full of screens, basically no hiccups. You guys have no idea how good you've got it. Get internet on the Xfinity 10G network for $19.99 a month for 12 months with a one-year contract. Back in my day, it was scary stories and flashlights. We don't get here. Oh, really? Mom can see your search history. That's what I thought. The next generation 10G network, only from Xfinity. Wildfires can strike at any time. 4 News Now Firewatch coverage keeps you safe on TV and on the go to protect your family. Be on alert. There are flames. That's what we mean when we say expect more. See breaking news in your area or have a story idea? Contact 4 News Now. This Good Morning Northwest Morning Sprint is brought to you by Bill's Heating and Air Conditioning. It's 6.53, time to get you ready to take on your Friday and the weekend with the Morning Sprint. Sydney Charles has details on who's expected to testify in an upcoming UFO house hearing. Cheers to Christmas in July. Allison Martinez celebrating with a local brewery. And we'll have temperatures nearing 100 degrees today. Mark has your forecast just ahead. But let's get right to some breaking news. Singer Tony Bennett has died at the age of 96. Bennett was devoted to classic American songs and had a knack for creating new standards, such as I Left My Heart in San Francisco. He was just two weeks shy of his 97th birthday.
what a legacy he's left behind. All right, First Alert Weather and that First Alert Weather app is free and available, and it'll give you the lowdown on the temperatures and how long they're going to last. I'm going to tell you right now, 68 currently as you're heading out in the West Plains, 56 Deer Park, Coeur d'Alene, comfortable 66. Winds are not going to play a huge part in our forecast today, but we will see them gustier than yesterday, and we're expecting temperatures to climb again to near 100 degrees. We're going to see that all over the inland northwest, so be prepared for the heat. Because of the extreme heat, the city of Spokane is opening its cooling centers through Sunday. Six Spokane library locations provide us cool space, water fountains, and free Wi-Fi. The Trent Resource and Assistance Center has food and water for people during heat waves. And STA buses will offer free rides to and from those cooling centers if you cannot pay the fare. Temperatures are rising and so is the water usage in Coeur d'Alene. The city is using so much water, officials are considering a conservation ordinance that would restrict when a person can water their lawn. The city pumped more than 780 million gallons of water this past June. That's 350 more than last June. The director of the Coeur d'Alene Water Department said to conserve water, residents should refrain from watering lawns between noon and 6 because that's when it's the hottest. This morning, a North Idaho judge will sentence five members of a hate group. A jury found the Patriot Front members guilty of criminal conspiracy to riot. Police stopped a U-Haul with 31 men inside last year. They were wearing face masks and carrying homemade shields. Two of the men on trial said they were headed to the Coeur d'Alene Pride Parade to peacefully protest. The quest to find out whether we are alone in the universe. This morning, lawmakers are preparing to look into claims of a cover-up within the government when it comes to UFOs. Congressman Tim Burchett says at a hearing next week, lawmakers will hear testimony from David Grush. He's an Air Force veteran who claims the government has a taxpayer-funded program that recovers and stores crashed alien air spacecraft. Lawmakers will also hear from David Fravor, a retired Navy commander who recorded a video in 2014 showing a tick shaped object flying over the Pacific. The Pentagon has yet to comment on this hearing. A home burned down in the city of Malden yesterday afternoon. Fire officials don't yet know what caused that fire. Firefighters worked into the evening to put it out and say dry, hot conditions make the firefight even more of a challenge. Whitman County's fire chief says during this hot, dry weather, keep in mind any burn bans in place in your area. The Geiger Corrections Facility could be retiring if voters say yes to two new jail facilities in November. Two county commissioners wanted to see the vote deferred to next year, citing the need for more community input and more details as to where the rest of the money will be spent. If passed, the measure would generate $1.7 billion in revenue over the course of 30 years. The main jail is overcrowded and we're told the correction staff can't do their job safely because of it. The proposal would use about half of the $1.7 billion to add the two new facilities. You can find more details about the jail tax vote on KXLY.com. If you're looking for a way to beat the, heat, beat the heat and have fun with family and friends tomorrow, come to No Lie Brew House where Christmas in July will be kicking off at 11 a.m. This event will last until 3 p.m. There will be new free beer or new beers and merchandise that will be passed out, and it's just going to be a great opportunity to have fun. The sounds of construction continue to ripple along Freya Street. Crews are working to repair multiple breaks to a water main that burst last Wednesday. We have learned there are additional breaks to other water lines in the area, extending the project even further. Some homes along the street are still waiting to receive sanitation services since this project began, a problem the city says it is looking into. The city says its goal is to have the road back open possibly by mid to late next week. We will be back with a final check of your weather heading into a toasty weekend right after this. At 4 News Now, we believe you should expect more from local news. Our team is committed to a community conversation and bringing you information you need when and where you need it. Numerica believes in and supports that mission. If your checking account isn't earning you money, it's time to switch to bonus checking from Numerica. The account that earns an incredible 2% annual percentage yield. That could earn you up to $500 every year or more. 
Legacy Boy Furniture Galleries, we know everyone has their favorite spot. Don't miss Black Friday in July. Get 20% off everything, plus an extra 10% in bonus savings. Lazy Boy Furniture Galleries. Live life comfortably. This summer, happiness is a new Chevy. You can go farther, tow more, and bring along everyone you love. Your road to happiness begins in a new Chevy. Get 1.9% financing on all 2023 Silverado 1500 Crew Cab LT Turbo Max pickups or get $4,250 total cash allowance when you trade in an eligible vehicle. See your hometown Chevy dealer today. All right, good morning. Taking a live look out there, Spokane Veterans Memorial Arena in the sun glinting off that east side. Beautiful. All right, a little bit of haze out there, and we're going to see a return of that haze maybe later on this afternoon. Uh, temperatures uh, heading out the door by 10 o'clock, 82 by noon. We're looking at 90, 94 by 2 o'clock, and then our high today is going to be 98. Even at 10 o'clock, potentially 79 degrees. Yeah, that's hot. Now, cooler over the weekend, a touch. 94 Saturday, Sunday 91. Now I bring your attention to next week. I hate to jump over a weekend like this, but low 80s Tuesday and Wednesday looking sweet. Oh, so sweet, Mark. Thanks so much. And thank you for joining us. We'll see you throughout Good Morning America. It starts now.